Today I'll be showing you how to remove windows from a dual boot with Manjaro. All right, so now first you're gonna wanna go into your boot menu and then boot from your Manjaro installer. And we can boot with the open source drivers. It doesn't really matter. All right, and then you can first of all close out of this, but then second, you're gonna wanna go into your application menu and then search for gparted and then you're going to find your windows partition which will be labeled basic data partition and will be formatted ntfs and there will also be a tiny microsoft reserved partition that you will also want to delete and you may also have a second small ntfs partition that's for windows recovery purposes you can delete that as well but do not delete your ext4 partition, which contains your Manjaro, and do not delete your EFI system partition if you have one, because that's needed to boot up your computer if you have a UEFI BIOS. So first of all, you're gonna delete those partitions, Microsoft Reserved, Windows, and Windows Recovery, but leave ext4 and the EFI system partition. So now what you do with your ext4 partition, aka your Manjaro partition, is resize slash move it, and then basically drag this so that this takes up the whole space, and then click resize slash move. And now once you're done, your partition table should look something like this. You got EFI system partition, if you have a UEFI BIOS, and then your Manjaro partition. NG parted will also leave a little bit of an allocated space. But once you're done, you're gonna click this check mark to apply the changes. And well, data loss is unlikely, I would heed this warning and make a backup just in case before doing this. But anyway, we can click apply, and then it'll go delete our Windows partition and then resize our Manjaro partition. Now, if you tried to do this within Manjaro, it would delete your Windows partitions just fine, but it wouldn't be able to resize your Manjaro partition. So that's why you did this from your Manjaro installation media. So that way your Manjaro partition is not in use when you try to resize it. But anyway, this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, and once it says all operations successfully completed, we can close out of this and then just let Gparted refresh to make sure that all our changes applied. Yes, they did. So we can go reboot the system and then boot back into our Manjaro and then log back in. And now there's just one last step that you have to do in order to remove the Windows entry from your boot menu, and that is open up terminal. And then we're gonna do a sudo dash i to switch to root user. And then we're gonna do cd slash boot slash efi slash efi, and then do an ls. And by the way, if you didn't switch user to root, it would give you a permission denied error. So now we can see three folders in here, boot, Manjaro, and Microsoft. The Microsoft one is the one we're gonna wanna delete. To do that, just do rm-rf Microsoft, and make absolutely sure that it's the Microsoft folder, not the boot or Manjaro. Otherwise, you'll screw yourself over. But anyway, once you've double checked that you're deleting the Microsoft folder and not any of the other two, you're gonna hit enter, and now we can exit out of the root user. And now you're just gonna do a sudo update dash grub. And if you did that right, it shouldn't find a Windows entry, and then you're done. And by the way, if you have a legacy BIOS, you won't have a boot EFI EFI folder. And if you try to CD into it, it would give you a no such file or directory error. In that case, all you have to do is a sudo update grub, and then you're done. So now, if we reboot the system, you will notice that it will boot straight into Manjaro without showing your boot menu. And that's it for this video. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
and see you next time.